Thank you for watching this video. We're going to show you how to enable ActiveX controls and also enable compatibility view settings on Internet Explorer 11 so that you can view your DVR. First thing is we load up Internet Explorer. Then we type in the IP address of the domain where your DVR is located. In this case, we've set up a dynamic IP for our DVR. If you have Internet Explorer 11 and you've never used a DVR before, you will see that for our DVRs you'll have a web service login page pop up here. You will see a screen something like this. There's something missing here. In some cases you may not even see this, you'll just see a completely white screen and only the web service written on the title bar or the task bar. The first thing you need to do is for this IP address or this URL or domain name, whatever you want to call it, you want to add it to compatibility and view settings on Internet Explorer 11. You can determine what version of Internet Explorer you have by clicking on this gear going to About Internet Explorer. In this case we have 11. It's always a good idea to turn off automatic updates. Turn off our automatic updates here. Second, you go to Compatibility View Settings. You add the current domain or IP address you're trying to visit. By default it will automatically pull up the IP address or the domain that you are trying to visit. You can just hit add and press close. You'll notice after you do that the browser starts thinking and after a little while it's going to on the bottom of the screen it will say this web page wants to run the following add-on do you want to allow? You should click on the bottom arrow and hit allow for all websites. We're not done yet though. This is still not the full screen. You should still see some more colors in the background. The last step is to enable the ActiveX. You go back to the gear, internet options. You want to go to trusted sites. Add this URL you're trying to visit for your DVR as a trusted site. Now you have to do this for both your internal and the external IP address or the internal IP address and the external URL in this case and you want to add them both as a trusted site. And then hit on trusted sites again, go to custom level, scroll down here and you want to enable all ActiveX for your trusted sites. So there are several different options. I'm going to scroll down and enable every single one of them. Once that's done, you'll see that this gray bar will appear. This means if you see a page like this when you're trying to log into your DVR, that you've taken these steps correctly. Now we're going to log into our DVR since we have enabled ActiveX and enabled compatibility view settings. So if you see this grid of four cameras when you log in and the above options, it may be different depending on your DVR, but you'll see web service on the left hand side and a grid that you can select through. This means you've successfully enabled your ActiveX and the compatibility view settings. I'm going to pull up one camera just to show you an example that in fact the DVR is connecting to the cameras and you can see video. I hope you find this video useful. Please be sure to like this video and add us to and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate that. Take care.